It's time for What's Hot, where we talk about the stories that have us all talking. Today we're joined by Tracy Johnson from Temple, Milwaukee. Jeff Wagner back with us as well. So a new Boy Scout group is not allowing openly gay scouts. The group is called Trail Life USA. That group says it is not anti-BSA, but a way of life that is centered on following Christ. Should there be a troop that does not allow openly gay scouts? Well, look, I, people can do whatever they want, but, but here's the truth. The Boy Scouts are a wonderful organization, and I understand some people might disagree with this particular ruling, but I would hate to see competitive organizations come out and hurt the Boy Scouts, because what that really does is it hurts all the kids that are participating in scouting. I think this is unnecessary. Do they have a right to do it? Yeah. I don't think it's going to take off too well. Well, but maybe look at it another way. I mean, maybe they're able to access um, a whole nother group of people and then someday down the road maybe this is just one organization and all lumps together. I guess I looked at this as, as a mother of, of two boys and said if I were faced with this decision would there really be a decision here and I guess I would have to look at what is each one offering what is the the main point of of differentiation and what are they really promoting rather than you know the discrimination factor. I think down the road, though, if, if you look at it as a discrimination factor, you're not really preparing people for real life. You're going to be in the workplace with different right. religions, yeah. uh, different sexual orientations, different ethnicities. So if you, if you create this group, you're not really ready to take on the world and life. Either of you think this is the last generation of kids that's going to have to deal with this? Yes. I, yeah, I do. I, I, I do. I think that, again, reasonable people can disagree about this, but I, I think clearly history is evolving and I, I think that the whole issue about you know gay rights that, that's probably the civil rights issue of this generation and, and I do think moving forward <laughs> these debates about same-sex marriage and stuff are going to go by the wayside. All right Tracy we're out of time we're going to save uh, some time for the next segment coming up. She took a breath. <laughs> yes she did. A golf course. Choice topic of the day. Again we're joined by Tracy Johnson and Jeff Wagner you know him from 620 WTMJ. So a couple has banned modern technology this to inspire their kids. No call waiting, no answering machine. The couple has packed up their computers, their cell phones, their flat screen TVs, and they decided to knock the kids back to 1986. <laughs> Could you parent like this? Do you believe kids are too involved in technology? And I think back to what I had as a kid in 1986. Couple channels on the TV, yeah, no well, cell phone, we had Atari. Cable. We had cable. Atari. Wow, we, and look at you. We, uh, I had ColecoVision. <laughs> I never got Atari. Mm. I had Atari. Well, if it was like that in 1986, think about what it was like to be a kid in 1976 <laughs> or 19... 69 or so. <laughs> well, I, you know, I think about this, and, and if these parents want to do this, great, good for them. But where are these kids going to be when they get out into the real world and everybody is looking up information on their smartphone, they're reading books on a tablet, and, and they just can't keep up? I mean, why would you do that? Why wouldn't you just try to moderate? Right. Well, you know, that's, what the, you know, that's what the challenge is. Last night we were out to dinner with a couple of friends of ours. They have three daughters, the oldest one who's six. And it, she, she sits down at the table and she wants to get on, on the phone. Mom, can I have the phone? I want to play with that. And her mom said, no. You're going to talk to your sisters. You're going to talk to, you know, Uncle Jeff and Aunt Sue. You're going to talk to the people at dinner. I think it's all about, you know, the, the kids and the parents exercising that control over what they do. Well, and don't make your kids feel bad for wanting to use technology. I mean, that is that is what they're going to be used to, and that is their world, whether we like it or not. <laughs> okay, so when are your kids getting their first iPod, iPad? Uh, well, my son basically has my iPad right now, and he's three. <laughs> you take that iPad away from little he Jimmy. Takes, he takes it to school with him. He's like, oh, yeah, it's school. pretty much not mine anymore. It's filled with games. and It's early. I mean, they start early, but I think it better prepares them as long mm. as you limit and you parent. It, and it's engaging. I mean, it, really. I mean, and people watching, I mean, they're going to understand what I'm talking about. I mean, when you have a, an app that's engaging your children, I, I don't think and it's a bad learning. thing. And yeah, they're, they're learning. learning. So right, wait till we find out what he's downloading really there, Tracy. <laughs> oh, God. Well, some people get my Twitter feeds. It's like random posts on my Twitter. So it's like, oh, God. <laughs> Time for our lightning round. Several people are upset with a golf course in Madison. The course advertises nine holes of golf for... 9-11 on the September 11th anniversary. The GM says it's a special they've done for three years now. Uh, it's gone viral though and people are calling the club and they're leaving death threats. Just This just doesn't seem in good taste. There are a lot of exclamation points in this, you know, for 
the anniversary of, of 9-11, you get this many holes yeah. of golf for 9-11, it just, but, I don't but know. But is it, is it really any different than a Memorial Day sale? I mean, at, at the end of this, I mean, I, look, I, I understand I, some I think people, it's too soon. too soon. Let's put yeah. it that way. It's I, too soon. I understand some people might say it's in poor taste, and I think I, I get that. I don't get the, this outrage. I mean, these people are getting death threats. This is being labeled as the worst advertisement of all time. I don't buy that. I, I think it's a good family business. I, I think this was probably well, I'm not sure, I'm not sure death threats are, are really yeah. in order well, for anything. Thing, Here's a simple solution. I mean, nine dollars and eleven cents times how many rounds of golf? Let's donate it to the families. Let's do something. Let's That's turn this idea. around and 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 just make good on it. I, I think it could be a more somber ad. But I tell, I along tell you, along the lines of what Tracy, it's going to be sixty said. degrees. Nobody's golfing. This does afraid. show the power of the internet, though, because this is the third year they've done it. First two right. years, no problem at all. This year, some blogger sees this, it blows up, and you know, nationwide, and now they're getting all sorts of hostile calls from all over the country. Um, poor taste, but I'm, I'm not going to get too worked up about it. Don't have a buzzer, so that's as good as we can do. That's fantastic. That was your buzzer. <laughs> I wanted to hit Bell. That's what I wanted. There you go. So. Guess what? You're well, a new buzzer. <laughs> I'm the new buzzer. The What's Hot discussion, thank you both, continues online. Find that page, tmj4.com slash hot. We need to get uh -oh. the buzzer. Now you've got all now kinds of noises.